for you welcome to our lesson today and uh, today we shall learn about secondary growth so what do you understand by the term secondary growth yes so can you compare uh, the diagram uh, one and two this one here and this one here how are they different So this actually, uh, probably you might have said that uh, the first diagram here is small while this one here is large. In that, uh, you can uh, probably have said that uh, the diameter, the diameter, this one from here to here, it's actually large compared from, uh, from here to here. So this is because our first diagram here has undergone what we call secondary growth. So what is secondary growth? So secondary growth refers to uh, the increase in diameter of a plant. So what brings about secondary growth? It occurs due to the presence of uh, the cambium. Okay? In the cambium, we have some meristematic cells. The cells in this particular cambium are capable of undergoing uh, what we call uh, mitotic cell division. They can divide mitotically, hence increasing in girth. Is it clear? Now, the question is, how does secondary growth occur? How, uh, how does the increase in Gut okay. So let us first of all um, observe the second diagram here. Good. So in the second diagram here, we have said we have uh, okay. Here between the xylem, this is the xylem. So between this phloem, which is towards the outer, and the xylem, which is towards the inner, we have actually, uh, we have a, a what? A layer known as meristematic cells, or uh, the, the, the cambium. Eh? The cambium has got meristematic cells, which can divide by mitosis, or they can divide mitotically. Okay? So, um, at the back or towards the back of the tree, we, there is also what we call um, the cork cambium. It is usually found just beneath the back of the tree. The cork cambium is also very important during um, a secondary growth. Now, the question is, how does secondary growth occur? So, we have said that uh, the cambium has got this what we call vas vascular cambium has got um, meristematic cells which when they divide mitotically it leads to formation of new new phloem towards the outer this one and new xylem towards the inner so as the new phloem uh, builds up, this is what we call the secondary phloem. Eh? As the new phloem builds up, this one, okay. And also as the secondary uh, uh, xylem, as the secondary xylem, this one, builds up towards the inner, it leads to increase in, in gas. Are you communicating? Now, so the new phloem is what is called secondary phloem, while the older phloem is called primary phloem. The older phloem is called primary phloem. So as new phloem is forming, it pushes the older phloem towards the outer. It pushes the, 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 the primary phloem towards the outer. 
this will cause secondary growth or increase in in diameter but in most cases or at any given time more xylem forms more xylem forms than phloem hence the phloem is usually pushed towards the outer or uh, yeah, towards the outer or towards the back of the plant now as the plant back actually or as, as the back of the plant forms we have now what we call cork cambium okay this cork cambium is responsible for formation of new bark and that is how secondary growth occurs let me repeat but now we shall use uh, the the what we shall use the uh, the notes so let us go back to literature and here we have said that secondary growth occurs at the cambium meristems it occurs at the cambium meristems okay and it leads to increase in width or diameter or girth of the stem okay now only it occurs in dicotyledonous plants that usually have a cambium monocotyledonous plants do not undergo secondary growth because they do not have cambium or intravascular cambium so the increase in diameter found in monocotyledonous plants like uh, let's say uh, coconut maize sugarcane that increased diameter is brought about by enlargement of the primary cells in that we are saying there is no secondary growth so how does secondary growth occur secondary growth occur uh, due to the cells which are found at the cambium okay so the cells produced to the inside be okay cambium cells divide to produce more cells on either side of the cambium that is towards the outer or the inner of the cambium so the cells produced to uh, towards the inner or inside the inside the cambium towards the inner of said forms secondary xylem okay while those produced towards the outer become secondary phloem now the division of cambium cells occurs every year so that one we have not said but we can say it now it actually occurs every year hence producing what we call annual rings it actually produces what we call the annual rings each year so the intravascular cambium or cambium between vascular bundles divide to form secondary parenchyma thereby increasing growth of medullary rays much more xylem is formed than phloem hence pushing the phloem and the cambium ring outwards the rate of secondary growth depends on seasons so we have said that the rate um, of secondary growth depends on seasons that is during rainy seasons or during rainy season the xylem vessels formed are uh, they form at a large uh, numbers hence they are usually large or thick in size and they have got thin cell wall hence the wood will have light texture in or uh, during dry seasons on the other hand during dry seasons on the other on the other hand I repeat huh? yeah so during dry season um, the xylem and trachis forms are usually few and they are usually thick walled hence making the wood to have dark texture this results to what we call annual rings now what are annual rings let us consider the following eh? uh, 
consider the following diagram. Yeah, consider this diagram here, the second diagram here. Okay, every year, as you can see, new xylem form and also new phloem form. Is it clear? So depending on the amount of rain, the, the, the quantity of these xylem vessels produced will actually depend on the seasons. If it is heavy, if it rains heavily, the, 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 the vessels will be thick. And this particular ring or this particular annual ring here will have uh, a light texture. Okay. What about when it is dry season? The vessels formed here, the uh, xylem vessels formed here will be fewer and they will be thick walled. Hence, the, it will form rings which or annual rings which will be dark colored. Okay. Good. So this is what we call the medullary rays. For example, we have said that during year one, for example, if, for example, in year one, there is a, lot, a very few rainfall, the rings formed in here will be uh, 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 dark colored and the, the xylem will be fewer and uh, thick walled. Hence, the, that particular ray will be or that particular ring, annual ring, will be dark colored. On the other hand, if the following season there is a lot of rainfall, you will be able to notice that uh, the annual ring formed here will be light colored. The annual ring formed here will be uh, light colored because the xylem vessels formed will be a lot and also they will be a thin walled. Is it clear? So, depending on our seasons, eh? so if you have a, a ring, it means one ring, it means it is for one season. So you can count the number of rings and you can actually get to know the age of a plant. We shall see briefly. Now, the cambium or phylogen is located beneath the epidermis and is responsible for secondary thickening of the bark of perennial plants. So I've said that the cambium, which is found beneath the, the bark is responsible for formation of a new bark. You might have noticed that as the plant grows, an old bark is usually shed off and immediately it is replaced by a new bark. So that new bark is uh, produced by the cork cambium. So how does that occur? Cork cambium or the cells in the cork cambium divides to form new cork or bark tissues. This will accommodate the increased growth on outside and the secondary cortex on the inside. So cork cells or cells of the bark are dead and they are thickened walls. Their walls become coated with a waterproof substance called sobarin. They eventually form the bark of the tree. This prevents, or the sobarin, prevents loss of water or infection from fungi and damage from insects. It also insulates the stem from fire. So at some points, the stem, uh, the, 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 there are some corky cells which are loosely packed to form lenticels for gaseous exchange as land in form too. Now lastly, what is the significance of secondary growth? It leads to increase in circumference of trees or diameter of trees. And number two, annual rings which show seasonal growth can be used to tell the age of trees. For example, now, if you have this plant here yeah. that that is one two three four so assuming that the rings are uh, actually of the same uh, from the same diameter with the same uh, center how what will be the age of that plant so we can have one two three four so its age will be four 
will be four years old if you cut the stem and find that we have those annual rings otherwise bye bye